Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hazik and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Theta. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to check that out before watching this one. It's going to be in the top right hand corner of your screen. Now, as you can see, Theta did pull back down with the markets and we did actually go all the way down actually below the June low here. So the wick did go below that. So this was a great buying opportunity for everyone who had buy limit order set up in advance. Just like I always tell you guys that that's one of the most important things you can do in crypto because you're not going to be able to know when the wick or when the capitulation is going to happen. So if you have those buy limit orders in advance, your orders will be filled whether you're at work or whether you're sleeping. And that's what I always try to do. But some altcoins and Bitcoin are actually recovering pretty quick. But this may be just a temporary uh, relief rally and we might be back on the downtrend very, very soon. So I would advise to, well, I'm not a, not a financial advisor by any means, but I would just hold my horses for now and see what the market does next because we do have the next FOMC meeting happening November 2nd or 3rd, and I do believe that uh, the interest rates are going to be raised once again, and we're going to see another pullback in crypto. So this is potentially not, not over, right? Some altcoins are losing their June lows, and this is not a very good sign. So as I have told you many times before, we do have a target here for Theta for the potential bottom at 79 cents, 80 cents, whatever you want to say, basically this zone over here, because this is the high that we ran into back in September of 2020, from where we did see a pullback into November, and then we saw that meteoric rise into the bull market. So potentially this is what could happen. Uh, you know, from 2023 to 2024. But for now, we're just trying to find our bottom. And in my opinion, this is a very good contender to a bottom because, like I said, you haven't retested this previous resistance as support. The markets like to retest previous resistance levels as support. So that is potentially our bottom if you want to set up buy limit orders all the way through, through this area here. No one is going to stop you, but I would advise having the buy order slightly above the actual support levels because you don't want to have round numbers in your buy orders and you don't want to be on the exact support level because a lot of people are going to pile in on that level and you may not be able to fill in your your order. So what I do is I just have the, or, the buy limit order slightly higher than the support level. That way, if you see a wick, you're more likely to get your order filled. So that's just uh, one little tip for you. And yeah, like I said, Theta chart overall looks bearish, right? Uh, but uh, nothing is going to go down forever and nothing's going to go up forever. So at some point, we're going to see a break of the trend. And I would I would uh, look at this trend line here, which is the previous support of the falling wedge that we were in uh, since April last year. And we actually lost that support in May this year, and we haven't seen the back test of resistance. So that is something that I'm targeting for a potential relief rally, potentially into November, right? Because we do usually see moves to the upside in October and November. Uh, maybe this is when we start recovering into November. With that little relief rally, we may run into this uh, previous support as resistance and we may just back test it and come back down. So I would look at $1.80 uh, and $1.75 around that price for a for an exit. If you're looking for a short to midterm trade, you obviously have the 1.414 Fibonacci level here at $1.90. So that's something else that you could target. Uh, actually, that was a mistake. Shouldn't move that. There we go. And yeah. So you have a couple of resistance levels above you. Uh, we're going to jump into the weekly chart on the Binance um, website in just a second. Take a look at other oscillators and the weekly chart in general. Also, what you could do is you could extend this resistance trend line of the falling wedge. And that could be another level for you to target because even though we're out of the pattern, the trend lines are still valid because we have been rejecting the resistance of the falling wedge multiple times throughout 2021. We haven't had a back test in quite a while. So potentially that's what we're going to be looking for. So the last touch of this white trend line was back in November last year. So, you know, 
who knows? Who knows? We might have a nice relief rally into that trend line. That would be some. That would be a nice two X. And markets are doing two X in bear markets. Just take a look at Polygon, Matic, and Cosmos Atom. Those have done incredibly well. Now jumping into the daily RSI here, as you can see, we just wicked. Well, not really wicked. This is the RSI, but you just went below the. Uh, yellow support trend line that I gave you and this was a good buying opportunity We haven't dumped all the way down into the green buy zone that I have for you Because every time you touch that green zone you have a nice move to the upside We haven't done that here yet So potentially that's still on the horizon if we see a further pro pullback potentially in November after the FOMC meeting Also, you have this descending resistance trend line to keep an eye on uh, to keep an eye on because uh, we've had rejections from there in April this year, a rejection in August, potential a rejection coming in October or November. So be on the lookout for this trend line. Have it on your chart just in case you're swing trading or you want to take profits. That would be a great area to do so. Now let's switch over to the weekly chart. So moving over to the weekly chart, let me just remove the Fibonacci retracement here so it's not as distracting. As you can see, we do have a descending support trend line on the weekly here. Uh, so you have a touch in June, and now you're back here since September. You're just resting on this, on this, um, on the support trend line. And as you can see, you're just below the buy zone that I gave you, and you're testing that support of the buy zone as resistance, which is quite negative, obviously, because you are uh, losing a support level which you created back here in June, and you're back testing that level as resistance so that's quite negative and you're already squeezing below the support trend line just like you did here but the last time you had a touch off of this trend line you saw a very nice um 53 move so potentially from here a 53 percent move would be above the yellow uh, ema which is the 20 ema so look out for a back test of the 20 ema on the weekly chart sometime in november october the last time we had a back test of that was in April this year. And yeah, so if we start losing this support trend line, that's going to be quite negative. And if I just bring back the uh, Fibonacci retracement that I just had here, uh, let me uh, fix the buy zone up for you because we need to have it on point perfectly. There we go. So as you can see, you did wick below 95 cents, which I gave you as a very nice uh, entry for theta and already if you entered off of there you're up eight percent obviously this is not the bottom potentially so doesn't mean that i gave you the bottom i'm just telling you that this is a good level to buy off of because this is where we wick to in june now obviously you do have the 1.618 fibonacci level here at 66 cents and who knows if bitcoin drops back to 14 or fifteen thousand dollars theta could possibly come down here to 66 cents which may seem crazy to some but when you were back here at uh seven dollars uh if i told you that we would be back at one dollar uh most of you wouldn't believe me so yeah that this is how volatile the crypto markets are obviously you have more support levels here above the 1.618 for example the 1.414 at 74 and a half cents is a good level to have some buy orders at and you also have the 1.272 at 81 cents, which is going to be your minimal target if you actually start closing candles below this first Fib level, which you haven't done, right? You did have a wick below, but you haven't closed uh, a candle below this level. So still, you're not in a technical target to the 1.618, which is good for those of you who are hoping for a move to the upside. But still, uh, you know, this is this is for now, this is looking bearish. But if you start closing candles below that, I would be uh, leaning towards the support tested at the 1.272 Fibonacci retracement at 81 cents based on this current Fibonacci retracement. You could also potentially expect a relief rally into the resistance of this buy zone uh, all the way up to $1.50, which from where we are right now, that would be a nice 44% move. And that would also mean that we would break the 20 MA on the weekly chart. And I just don't know if we're going to do that. So the 20 MA on the weekly chart is your major resistance level. If you break that, things may start turning a bit bullish for a bit more bullish for for theta. But until that happens, we can't really speculate that much. Now, going into the weekly chart here, obviously, you have the channel down pattern on the RSI. 
Let me just zoom out so you can see how I've got it set up. So this is the channel down pattern that we've been in ever since May 2021. And as soon as we break through that resistance of the channel down pattern, that's going to be a very bullish signal and statement from uh, Theta. Until that happens, we're still bearish and we're still adhering to this falling wedge that we're in. If you take a look at the teal trend lines here, you can see that you're bouncing up and down in between the trend lines. So in the next capitulation in November, potentially, I would eyeball the support of the falling wedge here. Uh, if we fail to hold that, you always have the support of the channel down pattern. So uh, if you're still in the channel, you have to adhere to the channel and you have to trade based on the channel's support and resistance. Uh, after you break out, things change and you have to reassess the situation. But for now, we're still up and down. So if you want to sell here, you want to buy back here because you're still looking at a retest because you're in this channel down pattern. However, if you do see a breakout towards November above the falling wedges resistance and above the resistance of the channel down pattern, that's when we can start taking a look at some of these swing highs on the RSI and we can potentially set targets towards those areas. Until that happens, you know, just accumulate dollar cost average in at the support levels. Uh, we still have time, guys, to uh, fill our bags with altcoins and have a nice run. Uh, into the next bull market that is potentially going to start in 2024. Thank you all for watching. If I missed out anything important on the charts, please let me know down below in the comment section. Feel free to follow me on Twitter. Feel free to join me on Patreon. Also, feel free to donate to Ukrainian refugees to support them if that's what you want to do and you have the ability to do so. There are donation links down below in the description. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.